What if you're out traveling and you're not able to find tasty coffee? That actually happens quite often these days. Uh, as you guys know, April is out traveling quite a lot around the world, visiting farmers, visiting partners, training our athletes. And quite often I find myself on an airplane, in a hotel room, far out on a farm with really no possibility to brew tasty coffee. Not in a situation where I can bring out a grinder, bring out a scale, um, and make sure that I get the extractions and the quality of the coffee that I want to. So, we've been thinking long and hard about this here at April, trying to figure out what's the best solution here. How can we make something tastier? Well, part of that solution is this. We ended up doing our own drip filter packs. and. What I want to do with this video is just walk you through the process of that and also show you how we're brewing with it. Now, in the video, we're using scales. Um, we're using a bit fancy stuff, which you actually don't need. And we're going to show you guys in the future as well how you can just do this on an airplane very easy without any complications, right? Because part of it is to really make it simple. Now, to make this really interesting, as per usual, we put some really good coffee in the pack. So we actually ended up doing two packs to start with. One being from our partner farm in Ethiopia, uh, from the area of Aricha, uh, called Testi, or the process station is called Testi. And beautiful wash process, heirloom, everything we're looking for in a great Ethiopian coffee, very floral, citrus driven. And to kind of up the game, the second pack is from Geisha Village, one of our favorite farms of all time, also located in Ethiopia. And we put a 1931 natural Geisha, to be more specific, lot 87, which we believe is one of the best lots coming out of that farm this season. Now, I'm gonna walk you through how we're actually brewing it. So, they come in these packs, as we can see here. Uh, we have a little cut on the side here. So what we do is that we just basically rip it open. Now it'll be super easy. We take out the bag. Now these bags are nitrogen flushed when it's sealed. So it's actually not exposed to any more oxygen. It means that the shelf life of this is actually very, very long. So we're taking it out. Now, once we have it out, we're gonna have a little bit of coffee in the top here. So I recommend just shaking it like this to get all the coffee down, which makes it a lot easier for you to open it. Then what you do is you basically just follow the line open. We do it here so you guys can see it better as well, right? We're open it. And we put out the filter like this and we put it over whatever cup we're gonna use here. This could be a takeaway cup, uh, this could be a porcelain cup, that can be really whatever you're looking for to use. So in this case, since we are in the roastery, we are gonna use the scale. We dosed 10 grams in coffee in here, and if you smell it, you can actually uh, get the same sensation of just the freshly ground coffee, which is pretty amazing, especially coming from Geisha Village. Um, now, what we wanna do here um, is again, 10 grams of coffee, and we're gonna pour a total of 150 grams of water, being a one to 15 ratio. Now, that's a recommendation, it's not an absolute. So if you, for example, want to extract a bit more out of the coffee, you're more than welcome to push all the way up to 200 grams. We'll be getting some really good results there as well. What we recommend is just one continuous pour, more or less, up to 150. Now, this brew method is gonna be a tiny bit faster than what you're used to which is also a really good and efficient thing to do. So as you can see here, I'm pouring relatively slowly. I'm making sure that all of the water is still in the cup and we're gonna have everything poured out in just over 30 seconds. Here we go. 150. Now, if you, for example, were an airplane doing this, 
or in your hotel room, I would just recommend to, you can often get two cups, so take two takeaway cups or whatever cup you use and basically fill the cup with the amount of water or the amount of coffee you wanna have of clean water. And then just slowly basically pour that water directly over, um, over the coffee relatively slowly, making sure that you always have water in the filter, and then you're gonna basically let that go down. Now, we find quite often here that the total extraction time is gonna be about 130, 140. That's when we have all of the water go through, and that's kind of what we're looking for as well, because we really appreciate the fact that it's a faster extraction, uh, which is gonna make this coffee tasty as well, and it's gonna be a lot more efficient to do. So, we're basically here at 140 and I'm gonna take the filter off. So all of the coffee goes through, you have a beautiful cup of coffee, uh, Geisha Village, which helps as well uh, to really kind of highlight this quality and make this cup of coffee even better. So again, a part of what we're doing here at April and we always like to do is to try to push the boundaries of where can we find really tasty coffee. We, we joked around earlier and we talked about maybe even bringing these on stage for a Brewers Championship, which would be pretty cool if you go up with three of those, you open them up, put them on the, uh, the servers and just brew directly into them, right? And, and why not? Um, in reality, if you work with a really good green bean solid roast, uh, and know what you're doing in terms of the brewing parameters, you're gonna get really good results. So we're really excited about this product uh, and we hope that you guys are as well. If you have any comments, any questions on this, please as always comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.